In this video we will highlight the new iGaze Vandal Resistant Photo Eyes by Transmitter Solutions. So to give you an idea of the size of this photo eye, in comparison this is a one of our Stingray transmitters uh, from Transmitter Solutions and you can see that it's a fairly small photo eye that we have here. These photo eyes are enclosed in a anodized steel case making them vandal resistant. They also contain a sealing gasket with two fastening bolts that allow the front to be closed and that make them resistant to weather and, and water. They have a high IP rating. These photo eyes are also available as battery powered. You will receive two photo eyes, one transmitting photo eye and one receiving photo eye. On the receiving photo eye, you'll see that there is a normally open and a normally closed relay contact as well as a common relay contact and then the power supply. You have the option to run these at either 12 or 24 volt AC DC power and the photo eyes themselves are fully adjustable horizontally and vertically. The vertical adjustment range is between negative and positive 15 degrees so you have a full 30 degree swing the horizontal adjustment range is between positive 90 and negative 90 degrees, so there is a full 180 degree swing on the horizontal adjustment of the photo eyes. These photo eyes are very simple to align, and we'll go through a quick demonstration of how to align them, as well as how to adjust the photo eye cells both horizontally and vertically. We'll now look at how to align the photo eyes. Um, and it's helpful that when we do this that we take the front covers off so we can see the red LED lights as they light up when the photo eyes are aligned. So for this demonstration we have the receiving photo eye on the far end of the table and the transmitting photo eye here closest to us. And when we move the transmitting photo eye you'll see that, that the red light lights up and you'll hear a, a short click. And we'll zoom in down at the far photo eye. We can see the light turn it on and off as we go in and out of alignment. We're out there and in there. And when an obstruction is in front of the photo eye you can see that the red light turns off and, and then they're back aligned. Another nice feature of this photo eye is the ability we have to move the photo eye both vertically and horizontally. Um, our vertical adjustment is between 15 um, degrees and negative 15 degrees both ways we can adjust it um, with a, a 30 degree span. We also have the ability to adjust it horizontally at negative 90 degrees and positive 90 degrees, so a full 180 degree rotation on our photo eye here, uh, which makes our adjustments and aligning um, much easier that we can rotate this. So the practical use of these adjusting photo eyes, um, you can see that we're at about a 90 degree angle um, between photo eyes, and if I turn this photo eye here, we now are in alignment, um, and that's it's a nice feature that we have. You can see that it's very simple to align these with just an adjustment of the angle of the photo eye itself.